Hi folks, Buffin here, Tier Antifa News Brief for October 12th, 2021. Just making making a series actually of videos about Facebook, banking, why I'm a communist was the last one. And I just forgot to say an important thing about people choosing to use certain services and whether you can choose or not to use, uh, not, uh, choose not to use certain services. Um, and how it applies to this concern between privacy and accountability um, regarding say, nationalizing Facebook. Now, one issue that came up is the banks and something in the budget that they've made an outcry about regarding the government being able to monitor banking accounts over $600 and monitor the transaction of those accounts. And it sounds scary and like an invasion of privacy. It also sounds to me like, call me naive, but I thought it was something the government was already doing. But anyway, they maybe are making it official in this thing and it makes people concerned, but it also kind of comes across like people are like, oh, well, anyone think of the banks. And here's the banks monitoring people's money. Well, you have to have money to monitor it. So it doesn't seem like it really targets poor people because we don't have that much money really to begin with. Yeah, over $600, that seems like it kind of does because you know, even poor people have over $600 sometimes. But the point being, you know, if you don't have to use the bank, you can keep your money, you know, in cash or, you know, stuff like that. That's why the banks would be concerned and say, oh, and who will think of the banks? Um, you know, people stop taking their money to the banks as much. But the real, uh, and it's just kind of ironic that people are concerned about the banks all of a sudden when people didn't used to really be that concerned about the banks. And the banks have not seemed to be that concerned about people in many occasions. But the, uh, and of course, there are some good banks, and I encourage people to find good banks, credit unions, whatever they are, because I think there are good banks that do good things. I've heard about one called maybe Aspire or something that is, you know, kind of plant trees when people use their cards and stuff. So a good bank, um, but also, you know, a good way that a government can run a banking system and do good things with the same um, ability. Now, if the government ran Facebook, I think that would be for the best. And again, every, every government all around the world got to run their own Facebook and there's like a UN oversight. But that would be the best because it would be accountability. And you would have something that everybody uses, that everybody has to use or whatever. Everybody's gotten used to using it. The thing with Facebook is everybody got used to using it when it was a benign corporation that people could believe. Mark Zuckerberg saying, um, you know, I didn't know that you would use our platform to swing an election when he totally should have because they were totally doing it and he was totally getting paid for it. Like that's where... You know, he was definitely part of that and paid for the cover-up of it. Um, his vice president was the one who arranged the cover-up of it, of Cambridge Analytica scandal, for instance. So you know they knew about it. And so they went from being what people could trust to be a friendly, safe corporation, of course they tried to maintain that image, to being completely evil and fascist, and like a pawn of Putin and the KGB and the KKK. Like, full stop. Um, and I've got plenty of personal evidence experience of that. I can talk about it in other videos, but and I have in some. See my hashtag nationalized Facebook, rest Mark Zuckerberg, stuff like that. Um, the thing is, if the government ran Facebook, people wouldn't have to use it if they were worried about the government having their information. And again, call me naive, but I kind of felt like the government already had the information that was going through Facebook anyway. Um, but if Facebook has it themselves, and they've used it all for these nefarious, terrible purposes, they shouldn't have that power. And so it's something that if, if the public has come to rely on this much, and this wouldn't go for everything, but for Facebook being so large and be, having gone so evil, that's the real in where you seize it like you would seize a, you know, the, the um, property of a drug dealer or a, a you know, crime boss. You know, you seize Facebook, and then as a gesture of like goodwill and trust around the world, say, hey, every country gets to run the Facebook and, you know, to let local control, because one of their excuses was, well, we don't speak the language. We can't stop genocides being orchestrated on our platform. We don't speak their language. Like, how can you be doing business and operating in countries where you don't speak the language? And not only that, they had people who did speak English or whatever language telling them what was going on. They still don't stop it. That's where you know they're evil. Um, so, or just like they let a terrorist stream a mass murder in New Zealand, a Trumper terrorist stream a mass murder in New Zealand, 
one and a half million times before they turn the feed off. Whereas I put a, a image of Trump, like a, a, a image mocking Trump, and they immediately erased it and banned me for 30 days, just instant. The second it went up, it was removed. Like it was on a list provided by Kelly and Conway to Mark Zuckerberg. These are the images Facebook uh, Trump doesn't want on Facebook. So yeah, they've been on that side and there's nothing more dangerous than having that much reach and being unaccountable. So if the government ran it, the idea is to make the government transparent and accountable. So yeah, people have privacy, but the, and they're concerned about the government having direct access to their privacy, although they kind of do anyway through Facebook. Um, but if the government was running Facebook, yeah, they, people would have their privacy concerns, but there could potentially be the accountability of how the government was running Facebook. And that's where you'd want transparency. They can say, well, this company doesn't have to share their secrets unless we force them to. Well, let's have it under government control with the regular expectation of sharing how it's run. That's nationalized Facebook. That's arrest Mark Zuckerberg for treason, genocide, terrorism, because he's promoted all these like all these accounts that are whining about not wearing masks and stuff. Some of them are real people, but most of them are Facebook generated troll artificial intelligence accounts or just you know bot accounts. That's what it's inhuman, and that's what's threatened our humanity. And the last point I want to make is that you don't have to use these things. It's like people. Compl you know, going in a restaurant and complaining about not wearing a mask. Go to a restaurant that that allows you to not wear a mask, or move to a city that allows you not wear a mask. For that matter, I personally believe you have a federal mandate to wear masks, so people just get used to it and stop thinking that their choice is more important than putting other people's lives at risk. It's not. That's the core of white supremacy. What we need to end in America and everywhere: the idea that some people's privilege, choice, preference, comfort is more important than other people's lives. It's just not. And if you examine all the whining by all the Trumpers, that's at the core of all of it. And you'll see some of it in comments on my videos. Sorry about that. But please leave your own comments. Let's have a, a real, rational, intelligent discussion about this stuff. And the more we talk about it, the more of it will expose, the better ideas will come up with it for ending it. And we will end it. But I personally believe you can nationalize Facebook. It'll not just show a good way to run, the, run that corporation. It'll show, you know, communism or... You know, nationalizing something, having a government run something can be good. Same for healthcare. You know, not having a healthcare system that exists or a banking system, a lending system that exists to preference certain people, to enforce racism, have those systems that exist to be fair to everyone under government control so we can show that it's fair. Thanks for watching, sharing, commenting. See you all soon.